Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. Despite Sidney Schiffbane's wedding tomorrow, he's still attending to business at the office. Here he is, dictating. Nash Military Academy, Nash, Ohio. Gentlemen, you got that? Yes. Gentlemen, we're shipping you today 250 uniforms on order. Your number, 2185. The balance will go through to you without fail tomorrow. Another paragraph. Um, say, Miss Stern, what's that mug's name who's the head of this thing? Colonel Smith. Oh, yeah. My dear Colonel Smith. While we've made these uniforms as per your specifications, and as I think you'll find them top hole, um, you got that, Miss Stern? Yes, Mr. Shipbane. All right. I think that for next year there should be a drastic change in both the color and pattern of your uniforms. I'd intended sending you with this letter some sketches that I personally designed, but owing to the fact that I'm going to be married tomorrow, I've been unable... Oh, so you're going to be married tomorrow. Oh, hello, Sally. I didn't hear you come in. Who are you going to marry? Someone I know? Well, I might just as well marry you. Oh, that is, if you're not doing anything tomorrow. Well, I've got a date, but I think I can break it. Oh, I wouldn't put you to any trouble for the world. Oh, that's all right. Oh, uh, pardon me, Miss Bloom. Do you mind if I kiss you? It's a pleasure. Uh, Miss Stern, will you please look out of the window? No, I want to walk. No, you're too young. But tomorrow at the wedding, you can come over and kiss the bridegroom. Oh, yeah? Sure, I'm going to kiss all the women. To be truthful, the only reason I'm marrying you is because I want to kiss some of your relatives. Oh. And to show you I'm a good fellow, you can kiss all of mine. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Oh, that's quite all right. You can even kiss my Uncle Louis. Is that the one with the beard? Uh-huh. That's going to be a tasty dish. <laughs> Mr. Schiffane, it's five o'clock. Is there anything else? No, hop along. See you tomorrow. You're not coming to work tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to pop in for a couple of hours in the afternoon. Afternoon? Well, why not in the morning? Well, you know the boys are giving me a dinner tonight. You don't expect me to get up in the morning. You're not going to take too much again, are you? What do you mean again? Well, you remember last Tuesday. Oh, I was all right last Tuesday night. Not even a little bit over? Not the slightest bit. Well, what was the idea of those card tricks? Well, I do good card tricks. Yeah, but you tried to do them with sandwiches. <laughs> Miss Stern, you better go. <laughs> good night. See you tomorrow. All right, good night. Have you got the car? Yes, downstairs. Do we have to pick up anybody? Nobody but Papa and Mama. Where are they? I don't know. Well, how are we going to pick them up then? Call up the house and find out. <laughs> Hello. Hello, get Mr. Bloom's home and see if there's a message for Sally and me. You know, it'd be kind of nice if we had a car of our own. Yeah, a swell roadster like Pop. Oh, never mind, kid. I'll get you one someday. Well, give me a kiss on account. On account of what? On account of because I want one. <laughs> now that you mention it, I'll have one with you. Come and get it. No. <sighs> Hello. Oh, yes? Uh, thanks. Get hold of them, will you, please? Guess everything's settled now. Yeah. Where are we going? Niagara Falls? Is that place still running? Well, I think it is. Shall we go there? Let's do what we decided. Make up our minds after the wedding. It'll be more fun not to have any definite plans. <laughs> Whatever you say, baby. Hello, Pop. Sydney, you ready to go yet? Hey, do you mind being outside? It's kind of tough finding a place to park. Okay, we'll leave right now, this very minute. Yeah, she's with me. Goodbye. Come on, kid. Okay, sir. What's the matter with the roadster? Pop said to use this car. He took the roadster out himself. Said there was something the matter with it. Well, how can anything be the matter with it? It's only a couple of weeks old. Oh, it's older than that, isn't it? Well, maybe so, but he's only had it out of the garage twice. Well, I think maybe... Oh, there they are. Oh, hello, Ma. 
Well, what a drive. No, no, let Sydney drive. I'm tired. What are you so tired about? What am I tired about? The tailor tired me out. We make 1,200 pairs of pants a day, 1,500 in rush season, and we don't fool around as much with the whole bunch as he did with that one black suit. Well, he said the coat didn't droop right. He said drape. Drapes is for windows. It looked all right to me. I think it looked beautiful on you. Ninety dollars and no sides to the coat. Don't commence with the suit, Jake, huh? All day long I've been running around between dressmakers and shoe stores and musicians and twenty million things, maybe more. And you got one suit to get on and you're all excited. I'll bet when Adam got the first suit he wasn't so excited. Adam didn't wear any suit. I couldn't tell you I wasn't there. I don't think I was. But to tell you the truth, I was so many places today, maybe I was there too. Look, Ma, I'm the one that's going to be married, and I'm not half as excited as you are. What have you got to get nervous about? All you got to do is get married. I got presents, refreshments, musicians, new tight shoes, relations, nice ones and your papas. And then tomorrow at the wedding, I got to cry yet. <laughs> Why do you have to cry? Well, Sydney, it's our rule at weddings. The bride's mother must cry. Yeah, if you really want something to cry about, take a look at my checkbook. If I want something to cry about, haven't I got new shoes? Don't the shoes fit? The shoes fit all right. <laughs> the trouble is mine feet is too big. Mama, have you got everything attended to? Sure, sure. <laughs> you don't think I leave everything to the last momentum? All I got to do now is to show them how to decorate the hole, find some place to put the presents, have mine dress fixed over, get a pair of gloves, show the man about the refreshments, see that Grandma Bloom and Uncle Morris get there, buy a few things for Yetta, push Papa into his suit, see that everybody gets a seat at the table, and then I can sit down and enjoy myself. <laughs> Except I got to keep apart Papa's relations for mine so they don't fight. Yeah, we could have saved you all this trouble by running away and eloping. But Mama couldn't get to help you a bit. If Yetta helps me, I'll never get done. If you want something done, you got to do it yourself. That's an old province. You mean proverb. Sally, I got no time for new voids. I got to use the old voids till after the wedding. And... Uh-huh. That reminds me. Uh, where are you and Sydney going on your honeymoon? Well, we haven't made up our mind yet. We thought we'd figure it out after the ceremony. We might take a short boat trip. A boat trip? How can you take a boat trip? You can't take a car on the boat. What car? The new roadster. The new roadster? Sure. <laughs> what do you think I traded in the car that I didn't even run six months for? Darling. No, 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 no. Don't kiss me. Kiss Sydney. I'm going to kiss you, too. Oh, that's the swellest present any girl ever got. But... The way things are, with you spending so much money for new machinery and my wedding costing a lot yes, anyhow... Yes, Sally, you're absolutely right. I shouldn't give you a new car. It's foolish. Then why did you do it? Why? I'll tell you why. All my life I've been sensible. I bought what I could afford. But when my oldest daughter gets married, I think that for one day it's a very good idea for me to do something foolish. <laughs> Besides, I enjoyed buying it for you. I've got to have a little fun, too. Oh, Pop. <laughs> what your papa means is he's so afraid somebody will find out that of all the nicest people in the world, he's the very nicest. <laughs> You're talking foolishness, Mama. I'm talking sense, Papa. <laughs> Sarah, I only wish you one thing. That you and Sidney should get along together as good as Papa and me. No, 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 Mama. You're just swindling me, so I'll wear that suit tomorrow. Sidney, here's a rule for you. If Sally gets extra nice, believe you me, she wants something. <laughs> <laughs> Sidney, here's another rule for you. If Sarah wants something, you get it for her. In the first place, you're going to get it for her anyhow, so you might just as well save yourself a lot of agriculture. Mama, you mean aggravation? I mean hygiene. That's mm. just what I intend to do, Ma. Give her anything she wants. Mm -hmm. And if you can't give it to her, promise it to her. What does a little promise cost? That's what Papa does. Yeah, is that so? What did I promise you that I didn't do? You promised me that you'd wear that suit tomorrow night. Uh -huh. She's commencing about the suit? How can I commence if I don't stop? Jake, you'll do me one favor, huh? Ten thousand things is on my mind. Don't worry me about the suit. If I can stand to look at you, you can stand to wear it. But it's tight under the arm. What do you want to wear, a kimono? Are you a Chinese? Japanese wear kimonos, Ma. Let them wear them, what do I care? I only know that Papa must wear his dress full suit. All right, all right, all right. I'll wear it, I'll wear a kimono. I'll wear anything you say. Um... Uh, you see, Sydney? Yeah. I drink is no good. In the end, you got to do what your wife says anyhow. <laughs> well, here we are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're coming up for supper, ain't you, Sydney? We got just a cold snake. <laughs> Mother means a cold snack, Sid. I mean corned beef and also apple strudel. I think I'd better go home. I gotta go to the stag. He's oh. going to a stag? Yeah. I thought a stag was an animal with things on his head like a coat hanger. It's a party the boys are giving me tonight. It's my last evening as a bachelor, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow you get everything. A wife, a mother-in-law. A nice automobile, thanks to Pop. Gee, I can't get over that. Yeah, drive it in good health. But don't go fast. Uh, well, goodbye, Sidney. So long, Sidney. Go ahead, Sidney. Go ahead and kiss her. <laughs> <laughs>
Right. I'll see you tomorrow, kid. Good night, Dad. Goodbye, 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 Sydney. Goodbye. <laughs> and it's to, to see how happy he is. It's a sight for sore ears. Uh, Jake, open the door. My hands are full from bundles. No, my hands are full from bundles, too. I'll open the door. You know, tonight I don't answer the telephone. I don't care if the king from Pennsylvania calls up. Hello, Yetta. Hello. Uh, anybody ring me? Well, Ella Markowitz called. What did you want? Oh, Ma. I, I don't know what you want to bother me about, but tend to it yourself. Mine head hoist, mine feet hoist, and tomorrow's the wedding. I won't even talk to anybody on the telephone, not even if they call from a pay station. Well, that's what I want to tell you. Grandma Bloom and Uncle Morris are here. Why are they here? They're here for the wedding. Yeah, yeah, but the wedding's tomorrow. Oh, sure. Why do they come a whole day early? Even Papa's relatives ought to have more sense than that. Yes, that's so. It's a better a day early than a day late. Uh, where are they now? Papa, I know where Morris is. He's in the kitchen eating. That's right. Sure. <laughs> that's one thing you can depend on, Morris. At a wedding, at a funeral, at a bris. Other people laugh, they cry, they sing and dance. <laughs> But Morris eats. Well, do you begrudge him a little food? Then Morris eats. It ain't a little food. To him, a toiki is an appetizer. Yes, of his grandma. He's looking at the presents. Uncle Morris wants to see you, Pa. He wants to ask you something. Well, uh, what does he want? Don't you know? Well, he says he can't come to the ceremony. He can't come to the ceremony? Why not? He hasn't got a suit. A man like Morris has got to come to the ceremony. So what's he going to do, Jake? What's he going to wear? He can't come in his ABCs. You mean DVDs, love? Even XYZs he can't wear. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tell him not to worry. He'll be at the wedding. <laughs> For a man like Morris, I will give up my full dress suit. I know it. What are you going to wear? Me? <laughs> Mama, I am going to wear my tuxedo. Oh, Ma, he can't wear that. Tell him, Ma. Sarah, what's the use? Let Papa have his way. You can't teach an old leopard new spots. Mm -hmm.